Orlando downtown. We're back again. Fire station behind us. It's a very windy, nasty day. We're in downtown, heading to Harry Buffalo pre-game. We're gonna be heading over to the Orlando Magic for Star Wars night. Another chocolate and peanut butter type moment. You know you're downtown Orlando when the fire hydrants start in magic colors. We haven't checked this place out yet. Hashtag soon. This is what downtown Orlando Church Street is looking like these days. This is Harry Buffalo. If there's a line, it ain't happening. It looks like there's a lot of Bills fans here. So Harry Buffalo is a wash. It was absolutely packed with Buffalo Bills fans in there for their playoff game. So we're going to head this way. Orlando Magic have a grill on the side that's open before the games. No one's picking up the phone there though to see if they're actually even open or not. And so when they built Amway Center, they had all of these shops over here, like little restaurants, bars, pizza places, candy store. They tore that all down. This is the status of what it looks like now. The goal is to build another plaza, so it's like a whole big area entertainment complex before the games, but round two. So the Magic Grill essentially looks like it's closed. I do see somebody walking in there. But as of now, it looks like it's not open. Well, the magic girl opens when the doors open, which is not for another hour. So, Orlando, we're hurting for money. Please come spend money. Please come see our team. Please buy our tickets. Also, Orlando, we're not open. See Harry Buffalo killing it with a line out the door? That could be you, Amway Center. You have TVs that show games too. All right, we're going back to the city bar. When I said hashtag soon, I was being prophetic. Here's the menu. Look quickly, it has pictures. Salads, burgers. I'm going churrasco steak. Dessert, cocktails. So after about 35, 40 minutes, we have an appetizer and we have a couple of drinks. The service is abysmal. So the chips are okay, the beer is tap beer. The drink, this is my churrasco with chimichurri sauce. Pasta with shrimp and lobster. Lobster pasta, shrimp pasta. <laughs> All right, so the dinner is done. I will tell you this, the food was halfway decent. The service, total shit. That was the worst. The doors are open for the magic. We're gonna go in and get our Star Wars on. And we're back. Chewbacca in the house. We've got Stormtroopers, Scarif Troopers, TIE Fighter Pilots, Queen Amidala, Han Solo partnering with Amidala and a Sand Trooper. Star Wars, talking about Star Wars. <laughs> Mary is afraid of the escalators. And these are pretty big ones. So if you spend a hundred bucks, you can get a collector's pin set, but we got a pin set with our ticket package for tonight. These are the special shirts for tonight. There's literally nothing on the back of them. But they are 12 bucks a piece. They've got the gray and orange logos on shirts now too. We have silent auction stuff happening right now for the Youth Foundation. Win jerseys. All kinds of good stuff. Look at that koozie. Look at that pennant. Before we go any further, we need to pay homage to the greatest magic player of all time. Greatest, my favorite player of all time, but the greatest magic player of all time. Shackle O'Deal. There's a green screen photo booth to take pictures. What? Pre-game going on over here with Coach Hill and Dante. We've got some more refs happening. I love the graphics. We've got Imperials for Utah and the Rebels for Orlando. We've got special cocktails here for Star Wars night. I've never seen her before in my life. <laughs> Jawa's in the house. R2-D2? You're looking a little bit weathered these days. We're better than this R5 droid. Vader 
marry his daughter and a stormtrooper? What's going on here? Yeah, I like, know. What is going on? These are our seats for the night. They're okay. Back to back wings. That's what we're trying to get tonight. I'm in your host, Aunt DJ, D Strong in the right. And we need to get your seats cheering on our Orlando Magic to get that W tonight. And you can get C3PO now. 10,001. Ooh, 10,001, he says. All right, moving on. What do you think? How many forms of communication does C-30PO know? <laughs> what? Yeah, basketball game to play. All right, 20,000. 20,000, okay. Last guess. Higher or lower? He wants to know, guys. What do you think? Thumbs up? Higher? Lower? Your guess, man. 80,000. 80,000. Okay. The correct answer is seven. Million! You are our winner here, my friend. You just want to get back to the Orlando Magic Team Shop. Happy Magic! Not only do I love the magic, I love live basketball. We had season tickets for years, but I just could not justify the cost losing every year too. We couldn't even sell the tickets. That said, I still always love coming here. Some of our, some of my best memories of being with Mario Jess have been in and we sent our Amway Arena. For anybody wondering, this isn't just a thing of when we moved here. I love the Magic since the inception of the team and followed them. I love this organization. <laughs> when I met him in New York, I feel like if you were dead, you'd know the answer to that. Who thinks later did the first Star Wars movie come out? 1978. Oh my god. How the hell do you get that wrong? You should take that shirt off. You don't deserve to wear it. You want to give it a guess? Okay, my friend. What do you think? 1977. Yes, correct! Holy hell, the kid knows more. How old is Baby Yoda? 50. And it's not in the new Star Wars. Four months old, he thinks. No, that is incorrect. Does anyone else know how old Baby Yoda is? Oh, we, we already got that one. We already got that one. What do you think? No, 50 years. 50 is correct. All right. All right. Good job, my Greta. What planet is Luke Skywalker from? Tatooine. He said Yoda. Yoda is incorrect, my friend. Huh? Tatooine, all right, you can have a hat, you can have a hat. Who is Han Solo's best friend? Chewie is correct, give her a hat. Please be aware the magic will be using strobe effects during tonight's play of introduction.
So focus and use your force. into the second we finally take the lead 36 35 oh my goodness there's multiple chick-fil-a cows at halftime we're losing again 52 47 halftime show some kids dancing at the start of third we're down 54 49 Corksicle. There goes Aaron and R2. Oh, the make this face cam. There goes make the Chewbacca face. Make the face. The four. After three, we are losing by one, 76 to 75. Minutes to go in the fourth, we're down 91-80. We have no answer on defense for anything. 98-83, we're five to go in the fourth, and people are filing out. Oh, the Ultra Club. We're getting out of here with like two minutes or so to go. That was abysmal. Pretty we magic we're intentionally trying not to. No rebounds, pathetic shot selection. Fun time, awful results. Now mass exodus. So we're back to the car. Before we get out of here, I did want to show you guys the tickets that we bought included those collectible pins that uh, the Magic referenced earlier. So this is what they look like. Let me take a closer look at them. This is what they look like, and they are numbered. So we got 149 out of 500. Nice pins. And we're getting out of here. Well, back home from the Magic, and basically can't win them all. So. It was fun, fun seeing some of the Star Wars stuff, fun seeing a lot of friends that I know that are uh, part of Rebel Legion, 501st, and the Droid Builders, so it was great seeing everybody out there. It was another awesome Star Wars-y type event. I think the last time I went to the Magic uh, on opening day, I was like, I don't know who could possibly beat them in the East, and they sure uh, have done a pretty good job of beating themselves, but there's a lot of runway left in this season, a lot of games left to be played, so we'll see where they end up. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.